What is up guys, Awesome Nurture here, back again playing Ark Survival Evolved on the Extinction server. I am Zio, your host for today, and I kind of showed so well, there's much show there. But, if I turn around here as you'll see, I did some expansion and upgrades on the base. And so of course there's all my, some of my dino stuff, and you can see I got a big behemoth gate now. Um, so obviously I can, you know, take her bigger dinos in and out through her. I put a wall all the way around, which we'll see, but I also worked on the base. So the base has changed and looked a little different. It's kind of a weird shape, but I think it's fun and it, uh, looks a little bit different. It's not, you know, just a perfectly square base like I usually build. So, um, obviously put a taxiderm thing here so I can have two taxidermy dinos right there on the front. Just to add some detail into the entrance and everything. Um, I have switched or turned on S plus because I was trying not to play with it, but um, just dealing with some of the stuff um, S plus was uh, kind of making me want to use it again. So I've turned it on. I just pretty much use it for the pickup gun to be able to pick stuff up. But I'm mostly still using just regular structures and everything. Um, we'll look at the outside in a second, but going inside the base. Um, still looks relatively the same. So obviously I made an extension over on each side the um, places where I used to have the walkways that went around the, to the back of the building. I now have um, filled in and so I made it pretty much kind of like an H shape you could kind of say. But we have expansion so obviously I have wasted space like back in there. Um, but I got forges there and of course all the electronics there's our crafting station. Um, and then up top I also expanded. Um, it's kind of weird I have these little areas but I wanted to make a little bit of uh oh I forgot to take that ceiling out a little bit of um like a sh uh entrance way because when you come up the ladder because I did have just like a ramp coming down from here you know to match with these for the ramps or not ramps but slope ceilings but you'd like hit, I'd like hit my head on it and it was uh, causing issues and it, like a weird like glitching and stuff so I just decided to make a flat ceiling so it'll add some detail from the outside but then I had this structure but to get the walls up I think I even though I think I have the foundation required turned off um, I still wanted it so I just put these entrances or doorways here so you can just easily walk through up here but there's of course our refrigerator and the uh, uh, what is it called preserving bin forgot electricity is moved back over in there and let's see, I doubt we can make the jump, but let's see. Nope. I wanted to try that. I did not hit the run, but I don't think. I don't know. Uh, then I've got my bed moved over here, and then uh, my armor storage or for clothing and stuff, and then blueprints and stuff over here. So there's still room to add stuff. And I made it across without running again. Yeah, with running, it makes it easier. And then down here, I just have all my storage that was along this wall. I moved over here, and again, we have wasted space I can't really get into back in there. I thought about putting a little door here and just making this like a weird sort of like storage area of something. And then over here, we've got Stinky the Stink Bug making all sorts of fertilizer. So if I ever decide to do any sort of plants, um, it's all good to go. Then I did put a door here, which I think I'm going to end up moving. Um... Because I may have a plan for right in here, but I don't really know for sure. We have a door that comes right out the back here. Then we got the industrial grill, and then of course the city terminal. And you can see the outside. It's not done yet. I'm still going to add more like uh, details and stuff into the building and like windows and everything. Excuse me, Trek. But now, as you can see, I expanded the walls, as I said, so we have a lot more room because my dinos were all getting stacked up on each other. And everything so I have a lot more room now and obviously still more room to grow over this direction um, then of course our newer dinos we've had Hedwig there the snow owl then the Volanosaur which is so much fun I wish this thing flew like if this thing flew this would be like the coolest dino ever um, I did go out and of course play with it uh, in the last episode and I did when I was over here building and stuff of course doing the whole turret mode like do 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 it's so much fun to do that and it kills things so fast and so I've done a little bit of leveling up but it's so much fun that thing's so cool and then that's pretty much it for the dinos I think yes um, so today we're gonna go tame up a new dino I forget I think it's in here yes we got trank darts we'll grab all of our trank darts and I still have 51 ammo um, so I need to be working oh yeah that's why I have these things running to get uh, charcoal going that's why I have them cooking and everything um, so I can make more gunpowder to be able to craft that up but I think I have everything let's check my inventory I do have the gas bag which is what I'm gonna be taming today hopefully I have a gas bag saddle right there 
Of course, the trank darts, which I do have a lot. I probably don't need this much, but I've got it anyways. Put that gun back down there. And I think I should be good to go. I have narcotic. Uh, they do eat like medjo berries and stuff like that, so I will be using that. I think I'll be using the top jar just because it flies so much faster. Um, which the snow owls are supposed to uh, fly fast, but um, it just doesn't seem very fast. And it's got a weird landing mechanism. No, um, before I leave the flyway. So I'm already feeling the effects of not being on the ground. Like being up here, I like this because it's up high. You don't have to worry about many creature stuff. I have, you know, resources that I need. But of course like the Volanosaur like I want to take it out hunting but there's like nothing around to hunt very often so I just have to you know go really far where if I was down on the ground there would always be stuff for me to shoot at and everything um, so that's just the bad part and of course this area right here was where I think and I was should have built originally just because it's on the ground level and it still has you know terminals and everything it's got like three of them right here um, so yeah but oh well um, I'll just have to make do I may move eventually or something but let's fly over this way because I believe it was over around where we started out the last episode right at I think it was somewhere over here right at the edge when I was coming back from the snow out which of course things would be different and with the corrupted dinos and everything but coming over this way I saw a gas bag and it was a pretty high level one so I'd like to find it, a level 30, level 20. So my goal is to try, it was like a 120 something. So my goal is to try and find that. There's a couple over this way, 15, 15. I'm probably not gonna be able to find it, but it, it must have been closer this way cause I you know, flew straight out from the uh snow biome to the city so it'd have to probably be down this way more just make sure i'm not missing any gas bags along the way oh come on it's hard to see with these things top of jars Ooh, 140 right there that's even better Ooh, what's this one 55 okay and i don't really see oh there's some trikes there some dillos. I don't really see anything super dangerous around here. So let's just land right down here. Maybe try and help out the thing get rid of these dillos. There, kill that thing. Okay, so let's hop off, grab our trank gun, hopefully you'll be safe there, hopefully I will be safe. So let's come over here and find this gas bag. I think I read Trishun in the head is best because of it's like deflating it or something. From flying away. Gas bag. Attack. I'm gonna get you, you gas bag. I was gonna say, is it doing any damage to me? But it's doing very little. But hopefully it just stays on me because a lot of times I've seen when taming these they fly away. So hopefully it doesn't fly away. Oh there it goes. It blew me away. It's just getting bigger and bigger. It's getting fatter. What is that fighting? Oh, it's those two fighting for some reason. Hopefully that thing does not attack me. Or the gas bag. I 
Oh no! You stupid thing! Make the Ornus did what? Better give me back my crap. Oh no. Oh, the Come on, it looked like it was maybe starting to run away. You will go down, you stupid gas bag. Stupid old fart bag. I really want this one. It's such a high level. I want it so bad. It's so cute though in the face. I love its face. It's such an ugly creature. Like it's the way it airs up and everything. It looks ugly and gross. But the face looks really cute on it with its like beak. No. How many arrows is this gonna take? Good thing I brought as many as I did though. Dang. I shoot you in the eye. Oh come on, just go down. I like that it's not flown away though, because that's why I was worried about it's gonna fly away and you know get closer to corrupted dinos and everything. Come on. Reload the gun faster. Well, it's starting to take my health down quite a bit. Well, not quite a bit, but I can start to actually notice it now on my health bar. Come on, go down. Come on, tap jar, grab a gun, help me shoot him. Shoot you in the foot. How about that? There it goes, flying away. Come on, top of jar. We gotta go. We gotta kill these things. There we go. Come back this way. Come on, just go down, you stupid thing. Try shooting in the body, see if that helps. I thought it, the thing I read said shoot him in the head, but it's not going down. Hmm, this is taking forever. 
Well, I guess if I ever get it to go down at all, or if I run out of tranks or something, I will bring it back to you, showing that I got knocked out. So I'll see you then. I got it, guys. I got it all knocked down. Oh, I thought I just heard something like coming to attack me, but it finally, I chased it all over. 54 darts left. I had, I think like 100 is pretty much what I lost. Hopefully that's nothing else, little compies coming out to get me or something. But I finally got it out. I thought I was pretty much going to lose this one. Oh my goodness, that took forever to get knocked out. Ooh, I chased this thing all over. Now hopefully it just doesn't get killed by anything. That's the whole goal now. So let's see if we can gather up more berries here to put into it. Now I know I read that it says berries are kind of slow working on it, but hopefully um, with the increased taming speed and everything, it'll be enough. So let's throw some more berries in there. Oh yeah, I never did get my stuff back from that one thing. A stupid little thing that took my train... Uh, narcotic stuff. It was right up here. I'll see if it happens to be like a box or anything. Wait, it was right over here. This thing. Oh, I don't see it. And it's not in the inventory either. So what happens with that stuff? So it took it from me and then I killed it, but it never gave it back to me. It's weird. There, kill that thing just to make sure it doesn't possibly come over here this way at me. I think it was right over here. Yes. Gas bag McGee. Are you eating anything? Yes. Yes, you're eating very, very slowly. And I don't think there's any... Oh goodness, they're fighting something. I don't think you can pick any plants around here, at least that I know of. That you can, like on Ragnarok and stuff, where you can find plants, because that's what it said they like to eat. But as far as I know, like I said, you can't find any of that stuff around. Get away. So I guess it's now just playing the waiting game on the gas bag to tame up. And like I said, I have the saddle. I already showed that to you in my inventory for it. So yeah, I just gotta sit here and wait for it to get tamed up. Look at its weird body, or its belly. Like it's got all this yellow. It's almost like the corruption on its stomach or something. But that's just really weird. But look at it sleeping. Oh, it's so cute. It's big old fat body with its hair all over it and everything. But I've seen like this stuff, it kind of looked like blood to me. So I was afraid that I was killing it. Um, but yeah, so I guess I'll just wait for it to get tamed up and everything. And I will see you when it gets done. And it finally got all tamed up. It took quite a while as I, you know, kind of expected it that it would. Everything keeps making noise. I don't know if it's this thing. I assume that it is. Let's go ahead and put this thing on uh, my guest passive. And then let's put... Okay, so you can apparently ride it without a saddle. That's weird because I didn't put the saddle on it yet, but there we go. What's it look like? Oh, do you sit all the way back there on the saddle? That's weird. Oh, so is, is that like for if you have friends or something? That is just so weird. I don't, I don't understand. Oh my God, it's making all sorts of weird noises. Okay, so we're sucking in the air. Let's go ahead and tea on our top jar, friend. And we'll take off. Oh. I wonder how you control this thing. 
Oh, it does take damage. I forgot about the, uh, the whole damage thing. Um, let's go ahead and add. So as you can see with its weight, it's got over 12,000 weight already, which is crazy. Oh, and when you will level it up, it does a little like barrel roll, which is kind of fun. Um, I need to learn how you control this thing. Um, trying to think. I need to make sure the top jars, because I want to try and get some levels on this thing. Um, let's. Go. No, don't want that. You come down here to me. Can't believe I crushed this. Okay, come down here. Stupid top jar. I wanna make sure you're on attacking. Let's go to behavior. Neutral. There we go. And then I think I, yeah, I kept these berries to be able to put into it. Take my medjo berries back. There we go, we got another level, we'll just put it into health, which health goes up quite a bit. Okay, so let's go attack this spider. It's making so many funny, it reminds me of like, Cousin It from the Adams Family. Okay, so yeah, I mean, damage wise it does not do much. Um, like I did 50 damage there. So for fighting, it's not going to work out very well at all. Which, I mean, I don't think that was a big surprise anyways. See if I can get it into my house. There we go. Safe landing on the ground right outside my base. So I'm going to get inside, but I kind of cut it off a little short. So yeah, so carrying wise, this thing is pretty awesome because it, like I mentioned, it has over 12,000 weight from the start. So this will be a good dino to like carry around with you to be able to load up with stuff like on metal and everything. Let's go ahead and get the top jar back down here to me. But as you saw with it fighting there, I mean, I'm sure you can... Uh, powered up Let's go and get that thing from following but it only did 50 from the start and it's a pretty high-level dino already So that's you know kind of worrisome about you know how strong this thing will be Or how useful because and I don't know what the whole point of the saddle is unless you can have someone else ride on it while you're controlling it pa Oh passenger seat. Oh, there we go so it must be, yeah. I thought it, so I guess I technically didn't even need this uh, saddle and that maybe it offers more defense or um, health or something, or protection for it. And then obviously I got, I'd have to remember to jump off of it before it hits the ground every time. So it doesn't take damage because you know, that's pretty much all the damage it has taken so far. Let's go ahead and put some more health into it. I love how it jumps up in the air like that. It's so crazy. But like I said, I want to like power this up because with that weight and everything, it'd be awesome to, you know, use this uh, to like go harvest stuff with. But unless I'm not going very far, like say I'm going around here and want to just like load up rocks or something onto it with the Dodicarus and then use the Dodicarus to fight with and use as like protection for it and stuff, then it would, you know, sort of make sense. But, um... It's still really cool. I love its fattiness. Um, I was trying to think what I wanted to call it. Of course, I like want to call it the uh, caterpillar off of Bug's Life, but I can't think uh, Heimlich. But I don't know how to spell that right now, so I have to definitely look it up, and that will be what its name becomes. But it's really cool. It's of course, a 140 gas bag. Let's go ahead and gas it back up. So you. Uh, hold, press and hold the right click on the mouse 
to expand it. So there's it as big as it'll get, which look how big this thing is. It doesn't move very fast, so I may have to try some movement speed because... Okay, so there's absolutely no difference at all. Um, okay, so there's walking and I'm running or hitting the shift button for run. It doesn't change anything at all. Um, let's see. Okay, so C is a deflate and it so it shoots out air. I believe that pushes things back. So it'd be cool to like find a dino and do this to push them off. I don't know if it does any damage or not. Don't really know. Uh, but we got C. I don't know what else to t hit on it. I'm um, trying to think of where I want to try and like fly to. There we go, and we crash back down to the ground. Now, I don't think it took any damage. It's hard to tell though. Let's just walk up here. So yeah, this thing doesn't move very fast, so it flies really far with the gas. Let's just gas it up a little, just to go back to our base. So yeah, like this, it flies really fast when you're doing that, but you know, Oops, and I forgot to jump off. I'm going to kill this poor thing. I just need to let it heal up. Maybe. Fast. See if... It is working a little bit. I just need to be so careful with this thing. So, I think... I don't know what else to do today. Um, so, I still have the um, snowy type dragon thing that we saw over in the snow biome when we were doing the um, snow owl we saw that and then I want to explore the underground area which is over in that direction and then uh, of course I need want to get like the whole map filled in so I can see and know where stuff is it's just so I like the new dinos of course they're not dinos I'm gonna always call them dinos because that's what this game was based off but the gas bag to me looks so much so cool and funny looking and it's just a cute like dino and stuff like it's hilarious to see and everything so we have that which isn't bad we have the velanosaur which is really cool except it can't fly so you're limited by its movement speed and range and everything um so that kind of uh that scared me i did not know it did that um so you're limited by how far you can go with it and everything the snow owl is cool, but it can't pick stuff up, or at least um, anything I've wanted to pick up, it can't pick up like an RG can. Um, and then it has the weird, like, as I try and fight with it, it just lands on the ground, and so it then acts weird. Um, so that's just kind of strange, but I love the way it looks. It's such a cool look um, for this thing. It's like a, you know, it's like it's a machine itself or something, but it just looks really cool overall. But um, like I say, practicality. Ooh. We got a snow pellet, but practicality, I don't like it nearly as much as I do the RG and stuff. The RG is just more functional. It's maybe faster and it can freeze dinos, but other than that, I like the RG more. So out of our, you know, three new dinos we've got so far, they all have cool aspects about them, but the usefulness, oh my gosh, we got an egg from our RG. There's not even another, go ahead and pick that up, put on the thing, another like male or are you male or female? Fe There's not a male RG anywhere around, so I didn't lay Nick. But yeah, they're really cool. But they all have their things that limit them. And like, I want to get the gotchas because they dropped the really cool gear, which I want to do that. But I got to get the tech stuff gathered, which does remind me. I don't know if this says it because I... So I need tech. Okay, so you can do unstable, which was 1,000 dust. I don't think I have 1,000 yet, but let me check. And so you, I think you need, because I did go ahead and put in the thing to unlock, because I've never done it before, the tech replicator, which is what you have to do to be able to get. And I want to create the little pod thing so that I can go grab, tame up a gotcha, put it in the pod, and then transport it back. 
tech trough. I forget where these things are. But I have everything unlocked, as you can see. But it's somewhere in here. I think I forget what it looks like, so I always just end up missing it. Sleeping pod. Anyway, there's a, the pod. It's where you can uh, put dinos inside of it and transport them and everything. And so that's what I will need to tame up. But you have to craft it in a tech replicator, which I've never done anything tech related. But you need 100 elements. So let's see. And I don't know how to get element beyond this. I'll have to research this. Okay, so I have... So it's 1,000, so I want to 3 out of the 100 I need. So refine element dust that is unstable over time, it will become stable, will stabilize and become element. So let's go ahead and stick a stack in here. Does that thing spoil? Oh, it does have spoil, but it's pretty high, so it'll be fine. I was like, does that snow pillow thing? So let's go ahead. So we have an element shard. Over time we'll be so Or you can take one element and craft it into dust, okay. So we can craft one. Which looks like it's slowly filling up here. And I wanna see what this is and what it does. So then once we find this, all I have to do is then just go around and try and collect as much dust as I need. So I'll need a hundred stacks to be able to turn into a hundred element to be able to craft that. Then of course you'll need I'll need more and stuff. That is unstable. So you have two minutes, but does that mean it'll disappear? Or will it stabilize over? That's the question. So this will, I guess, be an experiment. Because I'm pretty sure, you know, sticking it in a refrigerator or something won't help anything. But let's t check it out. Yeah, you can't even put it in there. Okay. So I'll have to see what happens once the time's up, uh, which I'll probably uh, be doing off screen or whatever. But I guess that's going to be it for today. Um, I can't really think of anything else that I can do with what time is left. Um, like I said, we got the gas bag today, which was fun to look at and uh, all that stuff. Um, of course, you can put melee damage, move speed. Maybe we'll put in, maybe it, that'll walk a little bit faster. I don't really know for sure what that will do. But I'll just have to see. But we got our big old fat gas bag there. It's all full of air. We have our passenger saddle, I guess, that I thought was the actual saddle. But apparently that's for if you want someone else to ride in stuff. But our little gas bag of Heimlich looks so funny and cute. Again, I like his little beak and big giant eyes. His antennas, but then his big ugly body. It's weird looking. He's got cute little feet, though. Look at his little four toes and stuff. He looks really cute and everything. But I guess that's going to be it for the episode today. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more ARC videos, especially here on Extinction. And I will be playing, I forgot to bring this up, the Atlas game. Of course, the new uh, pirate game ends, I'd say, set in the ARC universe. As in, because it's made by the creators of ARC and like a lot of the characteristics and building material stuff all look like ARC. So it's pretty much ARC, but with pirates and not like dinos and stuff but like dragons and everything but i will be playing that so once it comes out uh probably next week i guess will be the first episode it's of course in the beta so i expect to have a lot of bugs and issues going on with the game but hopefully it'll be fun and enjoyable i'll see if i like it or not and if i continue to play it and add it as a series here on the channel not really sure but if you want to see that don't forget to check that out next week i don't know when it'll be going up but it'll be sometime uh next not this coming week but the following one since it comes out on thursday i'll be doing videos on it on the weekend so then it'll come out the next following week um, but yeah, I hope you check that out and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, of course, to check out the Atlas and all the other ARC videos as I do in the future. But I want to thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and everything and I will see you in the next ARC video.